What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with a video on how to get the most out of AirPlay. Now in case you don't know what AirPlay is, it's Apple's way to wirelessly play many different types of files, whether it's videos or music or PDFs, and be able to play them wirelessly all over your house. This is great for things like an iPad here, like an iPhone, and I can play those things on my Apple TV. But if you're like me and you have a Hackintosh, this can be sort of complicated, especially with Mountain Lion's built-in functionality. So not only will I address that in this video, but also just for regular everyday Mac users that have a legitimate Mac, I'll go ahead and show you how to get the most out of AirPlay. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first app I'm going to be showing you guys is great for people like me that have made the jump to Mountain Lion, but their system does not support the built-in AirPlay functionality. This is simply because I'm running a Hackintosh, but even older Mac models do not have this functionality, simply because their hardware, of course, you know, stated by Apple, is too old. Now before you guys are wondering, or before you guys ask rather, I have tried to spoof a newer version of hardware. For example, I've tried the 27 inch mid 2011 iMac, which does support AirPlay, but however, I still cannot get it. And before you guys are like, dude, look in your menu bar. That's not it, that's another application which I'll get to in just a minute. But before you guys ask, I did try to change this. Now, if you have gotten it working on your hardware, it probably does vary um, system to system, configuration to configuration. But if on your system you got it to work, then don't be shy. Be sure to share on Tony Mac, on YouTube, etc., etc. Because while I haven't looked too much into it because of the alternatives I've found, so the first step I'm going to show you guys is for Apple TV owners, and it's called AirFlick. Now what this does, it'll basically send almost any kind of media to your Apple TV without the need to jailbreak it or anything like that. So as you can see right here, I do have an AirFlick folder. I'll go ahead and open that up. And in here, I just have a few basic forms of various media. Uh, I'll go ahead and do an MP3 first. I'm sure you guys will recognize this one very, uh, very fast. But simply all you do is drag and drop, and as you can see, the path one here. I'll go ahead and stop that but as you can hear it works very fast that was actually real time I just have two cameras set up it actually works that fast and that clear the audio quality was very nice go ahead and do another example go ahead and do this which I'm sure you guys will also recognize this however is a video file so go ahead and drag that there and we'll hit play and as you can see it loads very quick and it plays just as you would think it would the quality is great full 1080p I really have no complaints here. I'll go ahead and just do one more here. Shout out to David DeFranco if you're watching. This is a PDF on 10 ways to make money on YouTube. As you can see, right after dropping it in there, it did appear on the TV. And I can, of course, you know, arrow through, and the slide will actually appear on the TV. So this application is very nice if you have you know, a lot of local movies, maybe that you've ripped from a DVD, or you know, just any sort of video format or audio format that you want to send to your Apple TV, and you're on Mountain Lion, or even Lion, and you don't have these AirPlay functionalities built right in, then this is an absolute great option for you. Now I will say that not all video codecs are supported. I've had good luck with MPEG-4 and MOV, but I've tried to do some AVIs, some MKVs, and those simply do not work. Even though I have VLC installed, it gives an error. So you may want to invest in a good uh, video converter if you want to do a lot of this to convert your files, whether it's to MPEG-4 or MOV. But just know that not all codecs are supported, at least at this time. And also something else that's very cool is this actually has the functionality here to do URLs as well. Now it does not work yet, at least I don't think, because every YouTube URL I've tried does give me an error here. So, but with that said, this is I think version like 0.51. This isn't even like a full release yet, I don't think. So this probably will be worked on in the near future and will be released working just fine. And now probably one of the best things about this app is that it's totally free. There's a link right in the description, so go ahead and click that. Or if you're on Roach Technology, just look for the little blue link in the article. That'll take it right to the website where you can download this for absolutely free. Now this next application is great for people that have an iOS device, which I mean a lot of you guys that watch my channel do. And a lot of you guys actually may know about this because I heard about it from you guys on Twitter. This is an application called Air Server. Now basically what this is going to allow me to do is play video or audio or go through some pictures that's either on my iPad or my iPhone and actually view them on my computer. Now this is great for people like me that I, you know, I could AirPlay to my Apple TV, but that's all the way in the other room. And if I want to be on my computer, I don't have a laptop where I can be in there. So this is really nice if I want to have something on my iPad that I maybe want to show some friends, or even I just want to, I have a video on here that I want to play on here, then that's very easy. Maybe I bought something from the iTunes store or directly on here. Now without syncing it, I can simply just play it on here and then AirPlay it to one of my monitors and play it full screen, no problems. Now without further ado, let's just go ahead and demonstrate this. Go ahead and open up the podcast app from Apple, which by the way is great, but Apple, I know you guys can do better. There's been tons of little bugs at this. So I'm just sort of nitpicking here, but I'm sure a lot of people are having the same problems. Please fix the bugs. But regardless, as you can see, I have tons of Twit podcasts, 
Uh, let's go ahead and we'll go with Tech News Today. Go ahead and we'll just play, you know, one of these guys, sure. Alright, let's go ahead and pause that. As you can see now with the AirPlay option, I have the ability to select not only my Apple TV, but Bob's Mac Pro, which is really in a G5 case, and which is really a Hackintosh. But regardless, go ahead and select that. And as you can see on my monitor, plays fine full screen. Go ahead and uh, turn that volume down. But also what I can do is actually have this just, you know, in a window. So I can actually do this, and I'm free to move it around my screen wherever I would like. But like I said, or really as you guys just saw, I do have the ability to full screen it as well. So the podcast is paused right now, but as you guys would guess, it's controlled completely through the iPad, but also I can actually mouse up on here and control it from here as well. So as you can see I have a little um, player right here. Go ahead and try to zoom in on this for you guys so you can see both players a little better. But I can pause from here, I can actually scrub through, and it's very responsive. As you can see, it's instant. It's like just having quick time up and scrubbing through. It's actually very instant. I can click. As you can see, it changes instantly. Go ahead and hit play, and there you go. Now, another feature that also works is AirPlay mirroring. So not only can I play videos and stuff from the iPad, I'm actually going to go ahead and do a four-finger swipe upwards and turn mirroring on. As you can see, my iPad is now mirrored on the display. So go ahead and tap up here, and this actually is pretty responsive. Now, as you can see, because of the iPad's resolution, I do have some black bars on the sides there. Really not a big deal, because I, I think it's like that even on like an Apple TV. It's just because of the aspect ratio of the iPad. But regardless, it does work great. As you can see, I scrub through. Frame rate is up there. The, little, the frame rate's up there. Uh, also, the lag really is not bad either. So let's go ahead. We'll go to Safari. And I was just watching Chris Perlow's vlog here. <laughs> Now one thing I did notice is that when watching YouTube videos, there is a lag not only in the video, but in the audio as well. So on here, the video will show up just fine, but actually up here, I've experienced some out of syncing with the audio in the video. So this is a great application, not only for OS X, but for Windows as well. And it's actually starting for students as low as $11.99. That is a little bit steep, just considering the functionality that it does, but I have not seen another alternative to this that's free. So I guess you kind of just got to pay, but really I find myself using this all the time. I can just, you know, have a video up on here that hasn't downloaded on here yet or I bought something from iTunes that's on here and not on here yet. Rather than having to wait for it to sync, I can simply just play it, put my iPad like this on my desk, and, you know, little behold, that it's actually playing on the computer. And as soon as I want to stop, just open up the iPad, hit stop, and I'm on my way. So there you guys go, there's just a couple more ways you can take full advantage of Apple's AirPlay. Whether you're a Hackintosh user like myself that just does not have the AirPlay functionality, or whether you're a legitimate Mac user that just has an older machine that doesn't support it, or whether you just bought a Retina MacBook Pro and just want to get the most out of AirPlay, I'm sure this video had something for you guys, and please let me know if it did. So be sure to like this video on YouTube, be sure to post down low in the comments, any comments, suggestions, anything like that is much appreciated, and I'll see you guys in my next video.